Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Paradigm Fusion. Hi, I need help making a return, please. I ordered my bundles individually gift wrapped because I thought I was going to be giving them out to people at work and like the idea of them coming gift wrapped, but I didn't see where it said that each gift wrap was an additional $2.99. When I paid, I thought the price seemed high, but didn't question it because I trust you guys and know you do the right thing. So then I got my order and decided to keep it all and not give as gifts, so it was pointless to order gift wrap anyways. The packaging is really cute and I can recycle it or send it back if you pay postage. My address is in Beggarsville and my order number is here. I saw you were going to run a sale for Valentine's Day and was wondering if you could apply the Valentine's Day discount to my order as well since it's within 30 days. I don't want a store credit, I just want my card paid. Thanks, Jody Begging. I feel like the fact that you're complaining about being charged for the gift wrapping is irrelevant because most places charge for gift wrapping unless you get like a ridiculously large order and even then like most places would be stupid not to charge for gift wrapping. This next one is by Realistic Street 645. Let's discuss the money. Sure, do you have a budget? Around 200. I mean, you charged that much this time. It was only one person that time. It's two this time, so I believe 300 is fair. It wouldn't be hard, you know. I mean, now you're used to it. Your style is the most unique one. That's why I don't go to the ones who do it for free. Blank bro will do it for 100 as he's my friend. But you're really unique. That's my bargain. But it's still two people. It's Chibi. 230 final. Ah yes, another choosing beggar who claims they can get something from their friend in this case, but yet they like the uniqueness, yet don't want to pay for it. This next one is from Ready Set Santia Go. Student intern web designer. Seek part-time student interns to make simple WordPress websites and or domain name logos. You will work from home or school and we will correspond through social media after our initial meeting at here. Potential for cash compensation after job is complete. I like how they list that the potential for compensation comes after the job is complete, but yet it's just that. It's a potential, not a guarantee. This next one is by Artipel506. Hit me up if you have the following. Sick ugly, mm, trying to snapchat me. Perfect hair, perfect eyes, perfect skin, perfect nose, perfect breath, perfect tongue, perfect chin, perfect stubble, perfect Adam's apple, perfect fashion sense, perfect body fat ratio, perfect underwear choice, perfect obliques, perfect abs. Perfect belly button, no outies, perfect happy trail, perfect waist, perfect thighs, perfect manscaping, perfect bum, perfect dick, size queen, perfect brain, perfect elbows, perfect eyebrows, perfect eyelashes, perfect cheekbones, perfect ears, perfect smile, perfect dimples in both places, perfect neck, perfect shoulders, perfect triceps, perfect chest, perfect chin, Perfect ribs, perfect tips, perfect forearms, perfect hands, perfect fingernails. And if there's anything I've missed. Well, I can say this post was a perfect piece of shit to read through because quite frankly, this person is seriously delusional if they think anybody is 100% pure perfection. This next one is from Jose PKJHJK. Any real employers looking for a worker? not trying to win popularity contests. I do not work to make friends. So any competitive male dominant fields is right up my alley. Will not pee in a cup or give you a police clearance. For the love of God, don't tell me to send a resume if you're not actually going to hire. Sick of employers wasting my time. Did you ever think putting in applications or whatever that you're doing, if they take the time to pull you in for an interview but then ask you to pee in a cup and then you refuse that you in turn wasted their time? Just food for thought. This next one is by Fells Fells. Blank? Yeah? It's my birthday. 
Happy birthday! Thanks! Since I'm far away at the moment and I can't really see a lot of people, I just told people to cash at me $30. Oh, okay, that's cool. You wanna send? What's so funny? Hmm? The laughing emoji. Why would I send you $30? It's my birthday! No, I will not send you $30. I know you don't have right. <laughs> Never mind, didn't mean to offend you. You've blocked this account. It makes me wonder if this person just came out of the woodwork out of nowhere and asked this person, well, rather told this person it's their birthday, then proceeded to ask for money. I don't know, that's just the vibe I'm getting from it. This next one is from Marius GMG. I want to help Swipe Pages Designer to build their initial portfolio in exchange for a review about our company. We're a startup play to earn guilds with partners from the EU. There's a potential that we will hire you to do a UI UX design for our official website. Love to help if you use Figma, Webflow, Swipe Pages. Kindly comment your portfolio. So you're helping a designer by giving them something to work and pay nothing in return? Are you sure that's what helping means? For newbies, yes. If you're working already for a client and you're getting paid, this is not for you. So according to this choosing beggar, if you're a newbie, help is completely a different definition than if you're a professional. That's good to know. This next one is by Speckled Pink. I need a babysitter as soon as possible. I'd like to have a babysitter for a while. I can pay $100 a week as I have two toddlers. My hours at work are 6.30 a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. I'd be working in Wheaton, so it's about a 45 minute. It's job. I need help with my kiddos from 12.45 to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. I mean, granted, even though it's only three and a quarter hours, five days a week, $100 still isn't enough, and especially for toddlers. This next one is from Salmon Bicycle. I think the people that run this place are just greedy. The prices are way too high for a thrift store and for donated stuff. It looks more organized now, but they use all the good stuff for decoration and not for sale. There was three Christmas trees in store and not one price on either of them. I would have loved to purchase one, although I'm sure it would be more than one from Walmart or another wasteful billion dollar big box store. I missed the furniture 50% off furniture sale by two days and wanted a couch there with the discount. I could understand keeping a policy in a major store chain, but on a high priced item when you have a whole full basement of furniture? Really disappointing. I really just wanted a couch so I could have my mom and friends over during Christmas time. After leaving a bad situation, I have no furniture and finally saved enough to get that one. I probably won't be celebrating this year now. This is for the SPCA and I love animals, but please hold some compassion for humans as well and cut them a deal or break once in a while. I won't be back. It was two days. I mean, I could understand if maybe it was a day. They might be able to work with that, but it was two whole days. And then you're complaining, saying you won't be back. I'm glad they'll be happy that you won't be back. And our final one is by Entire Confusion 9521. In search of a personal trainer, dietary warden, preferably female and if possible free since I can't afford a gym membership or workout equipment. I need someone to keep me in check on my diet and essentially force me to exercise. I really need help with this. I've struggled with it my whole life and I can't take it anymore. I'm going to reiterate that I do not have money for any sort of diet programs or gyms. Let's just say I'm in need of a religiously healthy friend. I have a great attitude and I'm pretty funny. Mom jokes for days. I love how they skate around the whole fact they want someone to provide time, effort, energy to them 100% for free. In this day and age of the internet, it's really not hard to go look up dietary plans, look up exercises you can do at home without equipment, etc. So there's really no excuse to not pay someone when you're asking for a service like this. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, 
Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.